begin tonight with a follow up on a devastating church fire in Warwick. Good evening, I'm Shannon Heggie. And I'm Mike Montecalvo. The ATF is now investigating what caused Woodbury Union Church here to go up in flames the night before Thanksgiving. New tonight, we spoke with the organizer of an online fundraiser who's hoping to rebuild the church. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin joins us now from the West Bay Mobile Newsroom. On this giving Tuesday, parishioners here at Woodbury Union are hoping you'll think of them. Flames tore through their church just before the Thanksgiving holiday last week, leaving them without a place to worship. Tonight, they tell me while they're working to rebuild what's been lost, their faith is very much still intact. We've always had great people in our church and we We've always come together and we, we just have always had that feeling and that we, we can do anything. It's a feeling Gary Christensen says will be important as the parishioners of Warwick's Woodbury Union work to pick up the pieces. Their church destroyed by fire last week, the steeple collapsing under the force of water. My phone started going off and I picked it up and I looked at the message and it said the church is on fire. and. I, I was just literally shaking because it was like, it was surreal. Gary was married at Woodbury Union 37 years ago. His wife, Carol, is a lifelong parishioner of the Presbyterian Church, which was built more than 100 years ago. It was devastating, to sum it up in one word. So now as the ATF investigates what caused this fire last Wednesday night, the Christiansons are looking to rebuild. They've started this GoFundMe page anticipating insurance won't cover everything that's been lost, including a 75-year-old pipe organ. The goal, $100,000. You know, we're reasonably op optimistic that we can, we can do that. Gary says they don't expect to know the extent of the damage or the cost to rebuild for at least a couple weeks. In the meantime, he's counting on the community's generosity. We've given, I guess we're getting back. And that's the message I would, I would leave with people. And St. Benedict's Catholic Church on Beach Avenue is allowing Woodbury parishioners and its pastor to celebrate services at their church while they work to rebuild their own. Gary said it's just the first sign of this community's generosity. If you'd like to donate to help out Woodbury, head on over to our website, WPRI.com. Reporting in Warwick tonight, I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.